Hi, Iman here from Design by Iman. Today we're here in Mississauga and my clients purchased this home and it had great bones, but since it was built 21 years prior, it was in desperate need of a facelift. When you entered the home before, it was really dark um, because the front door was actually solid. The staircase was a dark orange wood with black spindles. The door swing was the other direction, so it completely blocked off the main wall. Today, the entrance looks completely different and my client's jaw dropped the first time she saw it. Now, when you walk in, it's bright and open with an oversized custom door with ribbed glass. We flipped the door swing as well to guide you towards the amazing feature wall with a convenient console, mirror, and a few accents with a funky mural wallpaper as the backdrop. The floors are now tiled in the main entry with a touch of satin brass, which creates a detailed border. The steps look fabulous as well as we had them wrapped in a white porcelain. The railings are no longer bulky as we went with a customized pattern with a mix of gold and black and the lighting alongside the wall are functional but add a touch of sophistication. Overall, I'm really thrilled with how the space turned out. Before, when you walked to the top of the stairs, you were greeted with these old blocks that served absolutely no function and really dated flooring. With the same spacing, we eliminated the glass and replaced it with a massive wine wall, which really opens up the space. There's now two sets of doors to access your bottles, and there's lighting at the top and bottom shining onto the bottles with bronze rods. And the best part is you're able to see right through to the breakfast nook, which makes the home feel so much larger. And I can't get over this absolutely stunning floor. We went with two different types of tile, but had them cut in a specific way. So we still wanted to use the traditional element of black and white, but it looks so much more modern with this application. Before, the dining room was enclosed with these double doors and it just felt really closed off and really dated with gaudy molding and awkwardly placed corner cabinets. We removed the double door entry for it to feel more open and we added a custom marble table with a ribbed base. The chairs are super comfortable with curved wood and the back has a really cute bow tie detail. The crystal chandelier with matte black detail screams luxury, and we surrounded the room with customized molding, oversized art pieces, which really speak to the marble table. And we finished it off with a soft blush ripple fold shear. We changed out the flooring to a custom stained herringbone floor and detailed it with gold profiles for a little extra detail. The style is rich and elegant and it completely changes the space. The kitchen before was straight from the 90s. It had a really weird island with a corner cooktop and a wood canopy. It was completely closed off from the dining room and offered limited storage. We closed off the back window to allow for a brand new L-shaped kitchen with a massive peninsula which seats four people. We went with matte white cabinets, porcelain slabs with green details and the most luxurious appliances. The Sub-Zero with glass front door is a real showstopper. Plus, we have individual gas burners with an integrated downdraft, which is actually concealed with a matching quartz. We decided to hide the drawer microwave, wall oven, and wine fridge all behind the peninsula for a sleeker look. To finish it off, we went with blush accents with the top drawers, the faucet, wall sconces, and the finishing detail on the gorgeous counter stools. The kitchen leads to the breakfast nook, which we finished off with a cute round bistro table with cane chairs and a floral centerpiece. Overall, the entrance, dining room, and kitchen have completely transformed and are absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to share the rest of the space with you.